Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and apparently 114 is very close to being released because we are getting snapshots very rapidly now, like almost every day. So we are up to snapshot 114 pre-release 5, all right? And just minor bug fixes in that, so it's it's getting pretty good. And I have to say the performance is great and the new features and stuff that they added are really a lot of fun. There's really an interesting update for this one. All right, so a little bit of trouble in paradise though, guys. Uh, Multi-MC, my preferred launcher, and hopefully yours, is having a little bit of trouble pulling down the metadata for stuff. So, like, if you go to the snapshots area here, and you'll see that pre-release 2 is the latest version available. So even if you refresh or anything like that, you can only get up to that. There's a problem with how the metadata is being pulled down uh, that the developers are are working to address okay but i'm going to show you how to manually pull down the versions in the meantime and in the future if this ever happens um and i will show you two ways of doing it okay so the first way is kind of for a non-technical people that don't want to mess with json files and stuff like that and basically we're just going to replace the minecraft jar very easy to do so a simple way to get the jar is to go to mcversions.net i'll leave a link in the description and it gives you the option to download the newest snapshots directly to your disk okay and it's pulling from the mojang servers so it's a clean site and they're allowed to do it because they're basically doing the same thing that the launchers are doing or you know multi mc itself is doing okay so download that latest one and then go ahead and create yourself a new instance and get to the closest one uh pre-release two okay so install that and then uh, launch it one time to pull down all the assets and stuff like that okay so i've already done that here basically then you're going to want to go and use this button here called replace minecraft jar and go out and browse for that client jar that you've downloaded all right it will put it right here at the third line so the second line will be the pre-release too the third line would be the jar that you've added now when you launch it it will be the newer version okay and again this works without changing assets or anything assets being sounds and textures and stuff um, because they're so close together but do pay attention that if in your if the change log for the version says we changed this or that texture or these these or that sounds then you know you'll have a bit of indiscrepancies from that uh, potentially with this method because you're just basically overriding the jar but leaving the resources in place all right so there you go pre-release four okay so that that works just fine a very easy way of doing it however there is a a, a bit of a better way all right and that's using json files but we do need to work along with the uh minecraft launcher here so log launcher minecraft launcher and then guys if you uh, don't know under launch options here you need to have enable snapshots enabled right here and then that'll give you a profile called latest snapshot okay so just by launching it you could pull down the latest snapshot that's available again pre-release 5 for this all right so go ahead and do that launch it one time and then it'll come down onto your disk so in your minecraft folder uh app data minecraft or library application support minecraft on um mac go into your versions folder all right and then browse to find the pre-release what it was named 114 pre-release 5. all right now we're going to want to look at this json file dot json file inside of there so open it in a text editor notepad plus or i'm using text wrangler on mac um, one thing you will see is that it's all on one line so in a text editor you can really format it properly you can't really in a code editor like atom or something like that you could um, but basically i'll show you how to format it online so we're just going to select all and copy this whole one line okay and then we're going to go to this website uh make sure this is the right one i think i already got it open yeah we'll go to this website here called json formatter Okay, now there's a lot of JSON formatter ones online, but I like this one. I'll leave a link in the description. So basically, we just paste our one-liner in there and hit the process button, and it will format it nicely. Okay, now we could edit it directly here, or we could just copy it to the clipboard and, and go back to our text editor. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. And 
basically, we'll just need to alter some arguments from there. All right. So I'm just going to make a new text document. I'm going to edit the Mojang one and I'm going to paste it inside of here. Now, uh, somehow in your text editor, you may have the option to select the type of file that it is uh, to get color coding and stuff. In this one, I select JSON and I get the color coding. All right, so we need to grab just basically a couple pieces of information. Let me just scroll up here quickly. And what we need is a key. All right, so here's the assets, assets right here. In this download section for client and server, okay, we need this SHA1 key right here, all right? So between the quotation marks, copy that. Copy all that string of numbers and letters, all right? And then pretty much we have what we need from there. We could close the Mojang one now. So let's go back to MultiMC and let's create ourselves a new instance. Again, getting a snapshot that's the closest one. I'll just call this 114 pre five uh, test would be fine and grab that. Okay. And then we want to right click on that and choose edit instance from the menu. Now we want to select the Minecraft line and choose customize over here in the edit section and then edit right there. Okay. So now we need to change a few values inside here, including that one that we copied. So first of all, down at the version area right here, we're going to change this to pre-release five. Okay. Now there is also an area here for the name of it. That's from this main jar downloads section. That's, that's kind of the download section that we were working at in the other file, but change that to five or 14 pre-release five. Then here's where we put the key. Okay. And we need that new key for it's different for each version. And then we'll, there's an additional place between these two forward slashes that we'll need to put it in here as well. Okay. And just be sure you don't overwrite the slashes. And so it's slash client jar object slash did the key. All right. Now we just save, save that out. And that altered it in multi MC. All right. So now when we launch multi MC, uh, in here there's asset indexes see so it's pulled these are the same as the pre-release two uh, because the snapshots are close but you can verify and check that against the mojang json to see that they're the same if they're different then change them okay if they're the same then just leave it as it is all right so we'll go ahead and launch and then that will give us pre-release five uh here in multi mc without us needing to select it as the version uh and we named our our uh, instance to be pre-release five so we're in good shape but you can see right there it's pre-release five at the top so after it finishes launching we'll go ahead and verify that um, then i'll just point out one more thing but basically that's all you need to do it's pretty simple if you just you know follow some details and you know maybe the most difficult part is just formatting it really so it's readable all right there we go pre-release five okay so we did that no problem now one thing that we may that you may want to do if you want a different pre-release, all right? This was done because we just pulled down the latest snapshot. snapshot. Uh, to do another type of pre-release, you'll need to go ahead and create a profile for it. So, you know, create a profile, latest release, and then we'll, we'd select which one we want. Like say we're gonna do four, select it, name it, you know, whatever, four, save it, launch it. Uh, it's generally the same as creating profiles, but then go out into the versions folder and grab that one. And then you could do the same process for it. Anyway, guys, that's it. It's not too bad, really, once you um, focus on it. But again, that's two different methods uh, to accomplish the same thing. So hopefully we won't need to do this very often. But if ever in the future it happens, uh, then this is a good reference on how to pull down your own versions of Minecraft uh, in MultiMC. It's Scott Omato. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.